track come up time by Gene Roddenberry or somebody. <laughs> and now, written by Theodore Sturgeon, the famous science fiction author. Interior Enterprise Corridor Longshot. Crew members move both ways through the corridor, purposely businesslike. Captain Kirk strikes briskly almost up the camera. A medium close-up as he responds to McCoy's voice. Captain. Kirk stopping, turning, moving aside sufficiently to reveal the swift approach of ship's Dr. McCoy. Got a minute. Go ahead! Spock. What is anything strange about him? He looks all right, at least. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I mean, I think point without an examination, but he's becoming increasingly rested. I lured a falcon, I almost say nervous. In fact, I did just say nervous. For another thing, he's avoiding food. I checked. He hasn't eaten at all in three days now. Oh! Sounds like Mr. Spock is in one of his down the leg things. All right, I'm gonna cut you off before everyone starts doing Shatner. <laughs> I am Shatner. I'm Kirk. You're not. You're, you're doing Zim, dude. You've already done Zim. Yes. Who Kirk is Zim? Yeah. And oh, that sounds you like do, Mr. Spock. You do it as Professor Becker. Okay. And um, Doctor uh, Doctor uh, uh, Christine Chapel will be uh, Red as Gats. Yes. Okay. Okay, another angle past the McCoy glances up, seeing Nurse Don't! Chapel. Don't! Tell me how to do it. It sickens me. It sickens me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Everyone do Shatner by now. Everyone just do Shatner. Everyone just do Shatner. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Nurse Chapel walks up. Top of page two. Uh, scene three. Yes. I will. I was waiting for the question. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Miss Chapel sees them, then she uh, stops and backs her really away. Miss Chapel? Christine comes reluctantly around the corner to view again. She carries with him a small tray in her hand, nods as she approaches the two men. Captain! Doctor! McCoy! <laughs> McCoy zeroes into the tray, which is covered the bowl. What's this, nurse? Vulcan winning soup? I'll bet you made too. Hot. You never give up hoping, do you? She flushes a little embarrassed. <laughs> Mr. Spock has been eating doctor. Eating doctor? Eating doctor, come on. Yes, come on. Doctor, it just happened to me. I just happened to notice it. Miss, well, carry on, Miss Captain. Kurt Dyes McCoy is an out the back to Because she goes on to a closed door further down the hall and she stops there. There's the you were saying that an examination would pinpoint any problem. <laughs> but when I suggested to him it was time for his routine checkup, your logical, unemotional Chris Lobster turned to me and said, You will cease to pry into my personal matter, or I will certainly break your neck. Curse eyes. Curse eyes, they what? Concerns. Stop. Spark! Said that. On this cue, in a very rapid succession, there's a crockery sound. Oh, yes. That's off screen. Spots for it. A horse shot. What? <laughs> a short jump stream from Christian Chackle is. Ah! As Kirk and McCoy whirl in that direction. Ah! Spots doorway, where Nurse Christine is hurriedly backing out of the door doorway. A bowl is thrown. Ah! Hitting the door. Oh, frame behind her, the thick orange soup splattering, running down the wall as she retreats. Doorway. His velvet features could hurt with rage. Okay, right. Hey, if you want anything, I'll ask you. For you. <laughs> Christine hurries to the safety of Kirk's spot because Spock, watching the retreat, suddenly sees them. He straightens with a considerable effort and busts his feature. What? You heard me. <laughs> Captain, I should like to request leave a Quite abruptly, there was a more corporate, and they all died.